What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here. We are back again with a hot new episode of Bullpen Banter. And guess what? I just noticed this number down here. Wrong. 17. We're doing things big out here. No Millennium tonight. I think he's off playing FIFA or NHL or some other dumb game. But I am still right here bringing you the MLB The Show hotness. And uh, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to ditch you like Millennium does. He already told me two out of the next three episodes he's gone. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to just stay here. We're going to play MLB. We're going to have tons of fun tonight. We're going to be doing a little roster update talk. A little Q&A if you got anything in the chat for me. We're going to talk about my hitting strategy. We're going to try to... We're going to play... We're going to play Yak City Gaming. If you're not following him on Twitter, Yak, Y-A-K underscore City underscore Gaming. Uh, we're going to be playing him a little bit later on tonight. And also, we are going to hopefully, if we got time, I don't know if we're going to have time, we're going to use this team over here. Which way am I pointing? Nope, wrong way. Team over here, uh, this Brave squad, to grind out some innings. Want to get that Jeff Francoeur. I forget who the big guy is in that set. Uh, I can probably find that out real quick. Well, you know what we can do? We can all do this together. I'm going to hop over to Daddy Leagues right quick. Search for the Braves. Uh, da, 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 da. Jeff Francoeur and Eddie Matthews. So if we can get two hot Braves, uh, I'm a long ways away from that collection. Um, but we'll be working on it. Hopefully we can uh, get some ground done with that. Need a couple triples for another goal. Maybe we can do that too. Um, but as we always do, we kick off the show with what we've been doing recently and that will be the show. And not going to lie, uh, with the release of Madden, haven't been doing a whole ton of MLB. As you can see, I built this Braves team. Had to make up a couple of uh, key acquisitions, uh, such as the Orlando Cepeda, who I have in left field right now. First base by trade, second base, or sorry, left field, secondary position. Uh, I think Prado is also a second baseman by primary. Moved him to third. Uh, pretty good team. I picked up this Dansby Swanson, I believe. I don't know if that purchase. Uh, I have no cards in the thing, so it must have came through. He might not even be on my bench right now. We should check that out. Um, so I think I had my created guy on my bench. Yeah, we don't have Swanson out there, so we're going to go get Swanson. We're going to put him on the bench for later. He's a 72, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, 73. Playing like 72 now, though, so got to give myself credit for remembering that. Uh, but yeah, we usually kick it off talking about what we've been doing, as I said. Not a ton. Been building up this squad. I got to a point where I was like, you know what? We're gonna take this squad online. I don't really care that it's not. It's a little underpowered. Uh, we can see my ratings down to seventeen twenty-five. Not super thrilled about that, but I'm having fun playing the game, and uh, that's really all that matters. Tough thing with this Braves team is not a ton of power. Uh, I just got Cepeda, so I haven't used him yet in this uh, last game. I think I had like thirteen hits and two runs, and I was uh, pretty upset. Lost three to two. But uh, I feel good things are on the way for this Braves team. So hopefully we can turn it around with them. Uh, but tonight, let's kick it off with a little uh, roster update chatter. Uh, Zach Britton got the bump from a, 92, from a 92 to a 94, getting that diamond status. Started at an 87 earlier in the year. I also think he started as a relief pitcher, and then he moved to closer, so... Uh, what do we got here? His clutch jumped up 20 points. Home runs by home runs per nine jumped up one. Ks per nine jumped up one. Uh, walks per nine actually took a hit. Uh, yeah, that seems to be about it, unless there was something pitch specific. But uh, that 20 clutch is going to help with runners on base, I believe. Uh, so that Zach Britton just got a little better. As you can see, another negative inside edge day for a reliever. I really hope they figure that out next year because it's kind of been a pain. Uh, all year for the relievers. Uh, next up, Brian Dozier. Goes from an 86 to a 90, which is uh, pretty beastly for the dude right there. Uh, in the recent, With the recent update, he got plus 8 to his contact versus righties, uh, plus 12 to his power versus righties, and also plus 8 to his power versus lefties, uh, making him pretty, pretty monstrous especially when he's playing with ie boosts given getting him up to a 97 overall tens across the board 
Uh, that is pretty huge, especially when you look at an another second baseman that has fallen from grace, uh, D. Gordon. Where is D. Gordon? Right here. D. Gordon drops from a 90 to an 86, so he pretty much flip-flops with, uh, with Dozier. Uh, but you can see a negative 11 to his contact versus righties, negative 10 to his contact versus lefties, negative 4 to his power versus righties, negative 2 to his power versus lefties, which was already anemic. Uh, they didn't touch his speed, which is all that really matters. Uh, they touched his steal and his base running aggressiveness, so if you let the uh, computer do your stealing, that might be an issue for you. Uh, but still, 93, that's way over anything that we would recommend having it do for yourself. But now that his contact's going down... If he gets some negative IE boosts, uh, he's still a good guy to have on the bench. But I feel like uh, there's a lot more other options that are going to be able to play offensively far better than him, minus the stealing potential. Uh, but yeah, like that Dozier, lots of pop, uh, much more than this D Gordon has. So you might want to think about switching them, putting Gordon on your bench. Um Letting him run around a little bit. He does have second base on shortstop eligibility, so you can still use him in both spots. Uh, yeah, I'm really liking that Dozier. Uh, Kyle Hendricks got a plus one. Let's see where that went to. Uh, that went to hits per nine. jumped up seven points. Uh, walks per nine dropped down one, actually. I think he's got a no-hit bid currently going on. Uh, so his card price is actually probably going to go up during the course of the show. Uh, Rufnet Odor jumps from an 85 to an 86. I don't know if there's anything special in there. Also, I want to take take a look at Trey Turner, uh, who went from an 81 to an 84, which means he's knocking on the door at gold. Uh, Trey Turner is a guy I definitely think will be gold by the end of the year. Actually surprised that Odor's already not been up higher than this. Uh, he got a plus 8 bump to his power versus righties and a plus 7 bump to his power versus lefties. Vision took a hit, which is going to be bad. It went from a 72 to a 58. His discipline also went down 11. That's rough. Uh, rough, rough Ned. Uh, but I like him as second baseman. You know what? I would actually probably, if my number one thing wasn't about getting a speed guy, uh, I would probably play Odor over D. Gordon. Because uh, he's got four t uh, three to four times the power of D. Gordon. Uh, and pretty comfortable contact. And when he's got the IE boost, he's uh, on par with the D Gordon. Uh, so I want to look at Ruffin at Odor. But I wanna, let me take a look at his uh, real stats. Because I think he's playing pretty good. Uh, hitting 278. 30 jacks. 12 stolen bases, 30 home runs. Yeah, 813. I mean, I feel like that's better than an 86 overall. That's just me, though, I guess. Apparently, uh, MLB does not feel that way. Uh, Trey Turner here. He's got shortstop, second base, and center fielder eligibility. Did not know about that. Uh, arm strength 79, so I guess he's playable at short. Uh, what did they do here? They boosted his contact up. When he came into the game, he had 53 contact versus righties. He's at 83 right now. That is pretty beastly. Uh, also, 76 contact versus lefties. 36 power versus righties. 31 power versus lefties. 57 vision. I mean, don't get me wrong. D Gordon's way faster. I almost wouldn't mind playing Trey. If I had D Gordon, I would probably play Trey Turner at second base over him. Uh, that might be something we think about doing uh, as we get into more of the uh, later in the season and offseason stuff. I think we're going to do a lot more playing around with teams. Uh, stuff like making bronze teams, making uh, gold teams, making silver teams. Uh, if Trey Turner doesn't get to gold, I might just make a, a silver team with Dre, Trey Turner playing shortstop for second base for me. Uh, that 83 contact versus righties is pretty immense, and I'm I'm really liking that. I think I think this Trey Turner is going to get some play from me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, who else we got? Mancada got his first card of the year. Pujols got a little bump. Gosman got a little bump. Matt Duffy got a little bump. I don't remember if the Matt Duffy bump was moving from third to short. Hayward's fallen. Uh, anybody else new? Sean Burnett. He's a he's an oldie but a newie. Jose De Leon. That's the new guy for the Dodgers, right? Uh, Tanner Shepard. 
All right, let's take a look at Jan Mankato. Uh, 52-54 contact versus righties and lefties. 48-49 power versus righties and lefties. I mean, not that bad. I mean, kind of what you expect for uh, most rookies. He's got second baseman and third base eligibility. He's got some speed with the 87 there. Arm strength uh, is a little weak at 74. Uh, but dude can field. Can't really bunt. The vision's not there. A lot of the a lot of the problem with the rookies, uh, they come in with real low vision, which is going to make them hard to be playing real quick. Uh, Jose De Leon is the next Dodgers uh, good pitcher. Only four pitches, four seam slider, change, two seamer. Mm, not bad. Uh, but you can already see he's getting the IE boosts up to a 82 overall right now. So he could be at a 72 for a bronze. You know, he's got... It looks like he's got four distinct speed levels. He could be a pretty nasty pitcher if you're doing, like, a bronze tournament or something. Uh, I believe uh, Paul Spore is going to have a tournament, I believe it's next weekend, uh, that I'm going to hop in on. Uh, so make sure you're following him on Twitter, at Spore, S-P-O-R-E-R, -E Spore. Yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, also, make sure you're following me, at That Sports Gamer. I will definitely retweet it when I know what's going on. Uh, I think that's going to do it. Ben Gamble, no. David Polino, I heard he was all right, but I assume his card's not that good because he's only uh, 64. Fastball, curveball, change, two-seamer. Yeah, a lot of these guys, it just seems like they don't have a ton of information on them. So we're not going to be getting fire cards, many of these guys. Wandy Peralta coming in at a 49. That hurts. What's a 49 look like? 29 stamina. That's fine. I mean, 42s across the board. I, can, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the dude. But what you're going to do, I guess. Boom, skis. Uh, so, the main thing I want to talk about tonight is uh, how I hit, essentially. Essentially, my mindset. Uh, I did a video a couple years ago. I think I may have discussed it a little bit earlier in the season. Um, but not super deep. Uh, let's just grab someone. Who do I like to hit with? Let's just grab Freddie Freeman. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how... I never really tried doing this in practice mode, so I kind of want to look at it. Let's see how this works. Also, I believe... I'm not mistaken. Uh, I can do some whiteboard action. Whoop. Your whiteboard. Okay. <coughs> so, I mean, I don't really need the whiteboard. So, like, this area, this is pretty much where I'm looking. Lefty versus righty. I don't know why you just moved. Just right in this area. <laughs> Right in here. Can I make that? Anything in this area is going to be the happy zone. As you know, lefties like it low and in. So if we can get something there that we can drive, we're going to swing almost always. Uh, but see, there's a problem. If you don't pay attention, and you got to have like super good eye, when you're swinging low like that all the time, uh, anything up in the zone is going to be a pop-up. And that's kind of what I'm running into right now uh, with... Since I haven't played a lot, I haven't been super, um, super selective with my pitches. So I've been popping up a lot of stuff because I'm looking here and popping it up like that. But if you you have to dedicate the time, you have to come in here, you have to be working, working the technique. Make sure you're focusing here because you know if up here you're not going to get to. But oh, just got under that one. Uh, but yeah, I want to I want to look low and in, unless I see that my opponent is doing something completely different. Also, don't move the thing at the last second. That's what I've been doing recently. See, because if you can get the spot, you can drive it pretty good. See, Homer. Uh, I guess that was a little bit higher than we were looking for, but hey, it was close enough uh, for Freddie Freeman to bone out of the park. But yeah, I like to look low and in. You get those 
good shots. Like, see, that was good. Just bad result. Be yeah, alone in. Uh, unless someone is really working me somewhere else. Like, I've had a lot of guys uh, pitching me up recently. That's the only problem. If they pitch you up and you're looking up and I threw you a change up, you're going to be fooled out of your pants. Uh, yeah, let's, let's keep looking up, see if we can get something. Uh, the trick is you just have to be patient. Make them come to you. It's interesting. Uh, you know the pitch you want. You need to look for it. You need to zone it up. Ooh, that's not that good. Let's see if we can get him to throw with something high. Just wearing out the second baseman. Uh, also, another thing I like to do is I like to visualize the kind of hit I want. Uh, so, like, with Freddie Freeman, I feel like I want to pull it. Hopefully pull something past first baseman. Down the line. Uh, with more speedster type guys, I just want to, specifically with lefties, I just want to, like, flip it over the shortstop's head. So let's look low in. A little outside. Uh... So if you're looking low and in, you can make a little adjustments inside, outside, and up a little bit. But you're not going to be able to get up here. Same as if you're up here. You're not going to be able to get down here. But what it does, if you're looking down here, you're effectively taking away half the strike zone. And I feel like if you leave the cursor in the middle of the zone, you got to think, when you're pitching, where's the last place you're going to throw it? Right in the middle of the zone. So you're either going this way or this way. So I find if I take away the bottom half of the strike zone... I feel like it's quite effective for me. Uh, but if, if leaving it in the middle and then trying to like read react, I feel like is not super effective. Uh, specifically for me, it might work out for you if you got reactions like that. I don't know why it's going to this weird camera. Uh, but yeah, I like to try to take as much of the strike zone away from them as possible. Even if it just means I'm going to be fouling off balls like that. That's completely fine with me. Uh, so, like, that pitch I can get to, even if I'm looking down here with Freddie Freeman. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, vision, uh, which is what governs the area outside of the PCI. Um, yeah, if you're looking down here and you can cover all this, your only, your only problem is up here. And if they're going to hit it up there, you know, give them, give them credit for throwing you a great pitch. And getting you to chase it, either pop it up or a whiff on it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of that's pretty much the basic, the basic idea for me. Uh, keep it in one spot. Make them come to you. If you can just leave everything else out, uh, like something I want to do, but I have not done yet. Uh, I want to take. Let's see if I can, can I do this. What are the what are the rules to doing this? So, what I would like to do, in a perfect world, I don't know if I can do this. I want to, like, get a cardboard cutout uh, that is, like, like this. I just want all this out. Because when you're batting, none of this matters. Everything out of here just does not matter to you. All this you have to just block it out. Don't look at the airplanes floating in the back. Don't look at uh, don't look at anything. You need to focus on this area. Now, if you're focused here, theoretically, they can throw you like a real big dipper. Uh, let me switch colors here. A real nice breaking ball that maybe comes in this way and hits this part, or if it's lefty. Something big that comes in this way. If they throw that pitch and you don't foul it off, give them credit. That's an amazing pitch. The majority of pitches that you're going to see are going to be coming in this general vicinity. So if you can block all this stuff out, and you're kind of you're giving up on these pitches. Not really, but you're pretty much giving them a crazy breaking ball. Um... If you can do that, you're going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, I feel like I want to, like, make a cardboard cutout that essentially does that. Just to uh, get my groove on. Glor23 in the chat. How's it going, sir? 
I wish I could, maybe I can make an overlay to show you. Make, the, make, make like a nice overlay that's gray so that you can see it. Because yeah, you wanna just focus on this one little area. You have all the screen. Now a lot of people use uh, the zoomed in batting area. Uh, let, me, uh, let me switch to one of those zoomed in cams. Uh, so a lot of people use an offset zoom. Uh, yeah, they use a, a zoom, something like this. Now, this is just a personal thing. I cannot play like this. Um, messes with my head. It's like, um, if you ever go to an IMAX movie, uh, so if you go to an IMAX movie, and sit too close to the screen. So now you got to cover. Now I feel like I got to look. If I take my same my same view thing, this area that I'm looking at is so much bigger that I feel like I'm up too close. And it's like I got to move my head to see if the ball's up or down. Granted, I'll probably get a hit. Of course, that's how this... That's how this game works. Uh, but I feel having this much to look at is going to mess me up. I'm going to be looking. I have to make too much of a, a head adjustment or an eye adjustment. Uh, but with the farther away view, I feel like I'm a lot more effective. Though I'm sure I'll hit over here and be wrong. Look at that. See, I've gotten two hits. So already, I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about because now I'm getting hits uh, doing that. Uh yeah, I wish I could. I should just make a thing that cuts all that out. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I was wrong this whole time. Maybe I need to switch to using this and uh, seeing what that's all about. But I like the outside view. I like to be able to see my batter, see what he's doing, and uh, be able to use him. And also, I feel like when you're up this close, I feel like you can't get a good view of the break. Which is another thing I like to see from the view I'm using. I feel like you have more time to react to a, a breaking ball from back there. <coughs> Actually, you know what? Give me one second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull this stuff up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Come on, give me something to hit. Do is I'm gonna take all this stuff off. I'm gonna screenshotterize this. Oh, did we get all that one? I don't think so. I don't think so, but I felt like we made good contact. Let's change that camera back. Okay, so I use offset, not offset zoom. Maybe I should try the zoom. Maybe I've been wrong this whole time. You never know. And if I am, man enough to admit it. I see like pitches like that. That's that's the stuff you need to put in time to know that that's not going to be a strike. I play a lot of games with people like, how did you not? How did you take that pitch? It's like you just got to come in here. Repetition, repetition, repetition. And then the main thing is you can't get antsy. Like, it's 2-0. and oh. I want to swing, but I can't swing at something bad right now. That might have been low. Ooh, it's in the zone. Uh, yeah, the last thing you want to do is start chasing pitches. You just, just got to know. Just got to go with it right there. Can I send the runner? I think he's going to go up. Up it in a little bit. Nope. Up a little. But, yeah. That's kind of what I do. I've been slumping recently, but that's been more of a uh, lack of gameplay thing. Uh, 
Hopefully we can get that back on track very soon, like tonight, starting with Yak City Gaming and our game in a few minutes. Uh, let's work out this last at bat. And then we'll, uh, we'll go get into that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Money Ball, what's going on? One one count. Ugh, I miss that. See, I've been. I feel like I've been missing with my PCI. I also feel like I shouldn't be missing with my PCI where I'm putting it. I did make a request today. I would like a PCI that's more bat like. Ugh. like a buckshot, but that doesn't really help me that much. Oh, goes down swinging. Alright. Let's get to a little Diamond Dynasty action. See if Yak City Game is ready. to do this video at the beginning of the season when I'm feeling fresh and hot and ripping balls. A little Jose Altuve action. Trying to get Yak City in here so we can uh, kick this off. I don't know if he wants to play with uh, fancy teams. Uh, but then if anybody wants to play after Yak City, just let me know. We'll get it going. The last thing I want to do, though, is rebuild this Braves team. Are there, are there any other cheapo Braves we can go get? Damn, I can't... Negative IE boost, and he's down to an 87? Or 90, 92 down to an 88 with the IE boost. That's, that's rough. The Yankee Clippard is back on the Yankees? No one told me? We got them Gary Sanchez's. Do we do a super rookie silver team? Or a young guy silver team? I feel like that could be a that could be an option. Jordan Zimmerman stole gold? Man. This Chris Medlin new? 
Where's the old one? I just haven't noticed. 94. No sinker. That's what I don't, I don't understand. How do you have no sinker? Chris Medlin, known for his sinker. Where it at, though? If you're looking for, like, new... If you're looking for a cheap... Cheap first baseman that are really good... Uh, specifically hitting-wise... Specifically against righties... Uh, this Freddie Freeman rookie... 71 contact, 76 contact versus righties, 75 power versus righties. Discipline, clutch, durability, fielding all over 70. Uh, that's nice. also want to shout out to the Phillies. We got a rookie, Ryan Howard. Look at this thing. 87 contact versus righties, 99 power versus righties. Thing's a monster. Problem, 22 vision. You can rock with Team USA jersey. How much is that card going for? Just out of curiosity. 14K. Uh, must have the... Uh, must have stuff to get up to this one. But it's, even this one has 34 vision. It's still rough. It's still real rough. Look at this OG Cole Hamels. Are they both going for 13k? Seems a little ridiculous. Patiently waiting on Yak City Gaming. There he is. Uh, you want to go super teams or you want to do some sort of uh, some sort of stipulation? You tell me. Either way is good for me. I have my Braves team all set up, but I can hit that button and make it my best team. Okay, let's do that. Besties have to rejigger my rotation because there's no way I'm ever using Burt by 11 again. Who's that Grinky getting up here? How did, he, how did he even get up here? All right, let's get Birdie B out of here. Do we keep Gaylord Perry? I think we keep Gaylord Perry. Okay. Let's see what the bullpen situation is like. I can live with that. Sangwana, oh! Getting the love. Look at that. Yo, Sangwana O's got a nasty set of pitches. Plus, with the IE boost? Unbelievable. Tony Watson is the one we don't want in here. Uh, who can we swap out Tony Watson for? I feel like I can't do anything good with Tony Watson. with let's go with the goose Doo -doo -doo. hey jay pollock in center what is this game doing right now my shot with third jd martinez mm -hmm. oh, good, oh, good. all right let's try this though mm -hmm. love david ortiz Playing short for me, too low. Right, 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 right. All right, I can fox with this. Uh, I'm gonna send you an invite. Assuming this actually works, then we'll show you. It does. Guess pitch off, quick counts off, strike zone on, hot zones preview. Boomskies. 
Invite sent. Let's do this. We had Noah Syndergaard at like a 98 overall. That was pretty nasty. Uh, we're taking an ATL. Gotta get ready for the move out of ATL. Uh, <laughs> mm, no, I don't really like them. Don't really like the AJ Pollock idea, but we're gonna try it. I believe in the auto team. Get you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's Diamond Dynasty Baseball between Edmonton. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. All right. First Ooh, pitch is hurt. next. All right, all right. With that, who's this? Charlie Blackman leading off again? Charlie Blackman is First in to pitch. start things Seven. out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Fastball up and in. We need a little change for you slowing away. Swing and a ball Keep him guessing. Foul Keep him right guessing. Home plate. Harry gets the sign. 0-2 on its way. The heater low and away from him. Skied in the air to straight away left. Flip it out to left field. Moving I'll take it. it. Take it for Adam Gore. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in, Michael Saunders, as he'll get his first opportunity Michael in this one. Saunders. The real question is, can Perry's slider bite in enough? Be effective. Runs in on or him, sometimes. Lean out of the way. Well, just looked like he pulled across that Michael Saunders, uh, he's got an IE boost. He is pretty nasty. Uh -huh. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. One one count. From the windup, the one one pitch. Battling him on the inside. Takes one off the inside. Too far inside. Ball two. Bases are empty, one man See if we can get any chase. Ooh, got too much of a Hit a little early. Center for a one -out base hit. <laughs> J.D. Martinez takes his first shot right now with a man at first JD following the one-out single. Well, this is kind of the way you draw it up. Have at least one guy on J.D. Martinez. My dude. We'll see if they can drive him in and get that early run. Right, you roll the play for me. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in his I'd appreciate strike. it very much if he could. On the ground for Cano. Too this much. could be two. Kulowitzki for one. Too low with the arm. Rizzo. Love it. Get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. The real nice thing about Tula, he has and the left-handed hitting Carl Crawford will stand in to start the home half of inning number one for New Jersey. Left fielder, Morrow. Oh, Smoke oh did you see it? The shortstop move. Is there. Literally the before the pitch came in. Is in time, one gun. Look, he knew it was coming. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. Right he'll get to take his first Mookie cuts here. Betts. It swung out. Oh, Mookie, the come on. Get out. Let's get to the track. And he brings it in for the second I'll take out of it. the inning. I'll take Anthony it. Rizzo gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Yeah, nothing doing so far here. He kind of needs a Oh, with the shift that's gonna be. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Jake Lamb. Makes his way to the plate. Leading He'll get us started right. here in the top of the second. Barry's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Uh, can't see it. Second inning starts with a fastball. Gotta watch out for Mike Lamb. Super dangerous, oh. especially in Diamond Dynasty. Now a good pitch on the inside well, part of the plate. Ties him up, up and it's one and one. He had the right timing, but missed the location if that thing broke late at the end. 
swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Let's see if we can get him to chase a nice little low changeup. Did a good job mm -hmm. to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Keep mixing up the speeds. Keep swing and a miss. High and he ran the fastball right by you do it, though. Which hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And you know, guys, he's not quite as successful when he's batting left in general. That's one of the from the other side. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Chop foul right so If I keep missing the slider, maybe the good news is later I will hit it as a strike and he'll take it. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Yeah. Look out. That Come one on. almost got away from him. King two Water, what's going now. on? And we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward. So maybe not that. Any questions in the chat? Holler at me. And fastball blew it right by him. Got it down. Second pitch. You want Travis? Just want to get the tape. Devin Travis is in was a good two spot. I thought it was a good spot. I'm going to try to pull something to the shortstop. Chopped in front of home plate. Right Posey. out front of the plate. Is Buster Posey it? there like a cat. Troy Tulowitzki. Strides into the box now to lead off the Leading home the half of box. the second inning. And this is a guy that can make a big change. Too low. I got to change his bat. Not to be a VO. Is there to take it. Right. So on just one pitch, they're able to get to Lewitsky. Corey Seager. I don't know if you remember. We ended the season. Corey Seager. Monster for me. Had him playing short, Into which ended up being his downfall, being that he had no arm. Grounded to the right, That's Travis not has good. it. Pro gets him two down. AJ Pollock gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And good contact Looks there. Good this is hit high and deep to right That's a good poke. And that'll get down out Get on your horse, Pollock. Wall. I like it. I like it. And he'll round it Force it. Got to make him make the a relay. solid throw. But All right. In there with a triple. So a man at third here with two gone. And set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson. Robbie. Oh, is that going to carry? Is it going to carry? Not going to carry. Out number three. Russell Martin leads it off here. Bottom third of the order. He's set to go Edmonton. here in the third. Well, he's faced the minimum Russell so far. Martin. Obviously, it's still early, but they need to get something going because you can't let this guy settle in out there. Harry into it's his motion. Martin up. First pitch on the way. Showing off Yaxity's Canadian love. First pitch oh, hacking pitch. here, Good and that's pitch. the first strike. Don't chase a little flat piece. Come on. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's What's going on, Garrett? Well, you know, the big key to throw on the slider is knowing when to throw it for a strike and then when to try to get a guy to chase out of the zone. Blew it right by him. Not going to get it. swung on and missed for the first down. Jonathan, first pitch coming. Here it is. Jonathan Villar. That's the hanger. I not want to throw. One Who away is now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. It's going good. Right. Hitting sliders like that on the outside part. I cannot be angry. Then we can go and chase this fastball. And a fastball oh, runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. High in the air. I'll take that. I think it's a pitcher leading off next inning. That's not good. Two down. Carlos Batting Martinez stands in. Number 18. Carlos Martinez. 
That's his pitcher. This one's no. Tried. Tried to get there. No chance to get him at first. A great effort on that one, but it'll be yeah. scored a base hit. Charlie Blackman will get a second crack Charlie at it here. He fly out to lead off the ball game. And he only saw a couple pitches. Gotta keep the runner to him. Get an easy lead off out like that. Crawford. It's Blackman's second pop up of the day to the lefty. No fielder. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Buster Posey digs All right, into Posey, the box in the bottom Leading of inning number three. three. A little poke. Just give me something, a little, a little something, something up the middle. Posey. Here comes the first pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Can't swing at that garbage. It's going to go high. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move Didn't to go high. So we still got back out of time. All right, I'm going to hit something back up the middle. Come on. Him off stride that time, oh, and it's one that. two. Come on, look out! That one almost got away from Watch him. Watch your lips two two now. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. High in the air out to center field. Over to center, but not deep enough. Posts under it, and that's the first out of Just the Just like Cano's back-to-back hits, same thing. Gaylord Perry uh, sadly, they don't want to be charging him in this game. First time. Gaylord Perry. That's what I'm looking for. Hustle, Perry. And he will recover in time Come on, to Gaylord, get it over you're to first. That. Nicely done there as they record the second out. First pitch of the at-bat. In front of it, strike one. It was our hit, the triple by Pollock. High fly ball out to straightaway. He kept it up. We're hitting ground. We're hitting stuff. We're money. And the inning is over. Michael Saunders is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs Sunday. to get on so they can manufacture a run. Into the seats, 0-1. Down the first baseline. Yeah, let's start getting and that slider in there close enough where the first baseman makes a Herculean make question, effort swing. to make the stop. Easy there, Cha-Cha. This Too is many squared many out towards many. second. Not not really worth, loved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. J.D. Martinez will dig in. Over one here in this one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Did right not up want that shoot. pitch there. This may be tough yeah. behind the plate. I don't forget, guys, Wednesday I'll be streaming on uh, twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Uh, the park baseball over there. Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Back on twitch.tv slash EA Sports again. for Thursday night throwdown. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him Garrett from Sanders diving out over the plate. Really, really any game. I hope you know that. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Hurry off the mound like a cat. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. If you want to dance, just tell me. I'll bring a concert for Christmas. I'll Set show you what's up. Us off in the home half Leading of the fourth, fourth inning. inning. Absolutely right nothing field. going on in this game so far, so we'll see if the leadoff is going to slide it on. Change it. Chop foul right at home plate. The wind up and the 0 1. That is wide. One ball and one strike. Hit hard down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And get the animation off the wall? Board. Yes. Uh, Gotta get that off the wall and out of the plane and get next to base. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo would be smart to walk him. He'd do that. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. 
a jack bomb or is it? But this just misses the zone for ball one. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Just got under. Saunders will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. So a runner report. All right, too low. Let's try this one. And danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop, Roy Tulowitzki. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Looking at Tulowitzki up there, you can't help but think of all the honors that have come his way, despite some pretty significant right injury setbacks. Perennial All Star, a gold runner, a silver slugger award winner. This guy can do it all himself. Yanked oh. around down the line. The tag is out. Look at that change. There's a change of his drop right at the end. Kendry's Morales heads for the box to start off the fifth on this one. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet. So getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Garrett, we should, uh, we should do a hair versus hair. Stream. Out here on Another Loser one sent foul. Granted, I'm already pretty much there. Strike Gonna chase. That's what I've been looking for. Whoa, got terrible it. play, but we got it. Is in time, one down. Devin Travis stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Travis. This is inside with that one. Ball one. Both teams with just two hits. That looked like pretty good pitch to me. On a great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Really? Really? How oh, is that not a strike? To short. There's that ground of the short side we're trying to get last about. Throw in time at first for round number two. Stepping into the box, Russell Martin. He looked to bounce back after striking his, out his last time up. His curve yep, like took six right now. Last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea. Of how a lot more him again right here. Sideways break the floor. Mookie Betts on his horse. Love it. AJ Crash, what's going on? The plate as we get started here on the bottom of the fifth. AJ Pollock gets it again. Swing Another triple. On Come on, we got one. Oh! We would have put that out. We would have been two to the cycle. Here's the 0 and 2. Line drive to left. I'll take that. I'll take that. Won't get there. It's a base Keep hit. the weight back. Just turn the hips. Get a little rip. Stepping in. Robinson Cano. He flew out in his last Robinson. at bat. Cano. Ground ball to second. Oh. This could be two. And he set down one away. Buster Only got one. I didn't look at that. Now, flied out in his first catcher, at bat. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And now the runner's trying for third. And that evens it up. One and one. <laughs> Had third base swipe, which is the worst part about that. Runner at second here with one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep oh, it there. Two he strikes on something. him now. I need more of Buster Posey's batting fence from last year. And he lays off a pitch more outside. Little, looks more powerful. Even at two more two. pull ready. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead. First run crosses the plate. A.J. Pollock, way to go. To Had to score. do it for, uh... Before Perry came up. Hit on the ground oh, the hey. Left. Perry stops oh, in the right there. It right but I assume him in the left. it would be good if uh, it's good. Carl Crawford will step in now. All right, Garrett, take it easy now. Just got under it. Over toward foul ground. And he'll stay with the it second time, Carl Crawford from the same thing. Mookie Betts. 
digs in and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here Ooh, swung way too early right off the top of the barrel you got the lead though that's really Jonathan VR makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning and in a pretty close game so far they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing now the 0-1 Tries to shave the corner blue. of that pitch, but it's one and one. What are you doing to me, Blue? This is pulled into right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the there. first down. The pitcher, Digging in to try it again, Carlos, Carlos Martinez. Martinez. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, he showed a little prowess with the bat last oh, time, inside. and he may have to pitch him a little like bit I'm tougher right here. Throwing the same starting pitch to all, all righties. Change it and look out. Really? In and got him. And Come on, G. Do you not want to be hitting that. pitchers out there? Be better than that. Charlie Blackman will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Well, he's thrown a first pitch strike to a lot of the batters he's faced. So that's a pretty good percentage because we're into the middle innings right now. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And, and he pauses. Here's the 0-2. And there he goes toward second. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Snap throw from the catcher, but he's back he's in good. safely. Like that was a good pitch. Runner at first, first one chase. man out. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Don't expect him to forget throwing inside. Even after the hit by pitch. He just won't start giving in to guys out there. Now a ball got popped there. up. But got real foul lucky there. For the catcher Posey. And he'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the second out. How about it? Michael Saunders steps in. Working on a one for two game so far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, wow. Wow. Where? Why was that even there? So now they'll have two men in score. The way I missed it, it should have been more inside than not left there. Right, we got two down. So stepping in, J.D. Martinez. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Trying to hold the lead. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. And, and that's the mark of a really good pitcher here. They get just a little bit pitch. tougher to hit when they get runners in scoring position. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Real careful. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And Damn it, this one pitch. Away. That's that not what we wanted. Yeah. And there's no one there to cover. God. Men on third with two down. <sighs> Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Look out. That that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two outs here with a runner at third. Lofted in the air out yeah, toward right that. center. And he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now a two to one ball game. Spot. Jake Lamb steps in to try and keep things going that. now with a runner at first following the RBI yeah. single. And that's a nice job Good right man. there to drive in the run by the last guy. And it can definitely oh, fire man. up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. That wouldn't have helped. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And on 0 and 2. I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike Man. zone. 
Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ugh. Wild pitch. A dumb quick pitch. Leading off the inning, Anthony Rizzo. And they'll need him to get something going here. Dum, 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 dee -dee -dee -dum. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. He's blown out to left. Maybe we go oppo. Ground ball Try right side, straight into the ship. And the catch is made one away. With one away, that'll bring him to left. We might have a shot with two though here. Now a swing oh, and miss. Tried. Off that tried. One strike one. Not too many Let's strikeouts on the on. ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, Great I pitch. think ideally you'd right like to see him miss a few Got more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second <sighs> out. Corey Seager. Come on, Seeds. Come on, Seeds. In his two trips so far. Yeah, just sort of rolling over on it, guys. See if you can make a smaller Get through. Oh, great play. He goes to first. Fantastic effort, but he's All right, two out rally going. Let's go. Digging in for his second at bat. AJ Pro. He singled his last time up. First pitch here misses wide. 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. On they get him on the balance there as he reaches for that one but can't find it. It's 2 and 1. All even now, two and two. Aye, aye, aye. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Off his back. Hustle, guys. Hustle. Robinson Got real worried for a second there. Let's go, Robbie. Robbie. What do you know, Cano? Jim Johnson coming in. All right. Okay, okay. This pitch is about to play straight. On the wild pitch. And he misses again to Cano. It's 2-0 oh. now. Second and third, two away. That'll find its Ooh, way out tried to play. go oppo and, and drive it. Count two and one now. Just off the inside. Three, one. Okay, Robbie. Okay. And remember here, you've got a base open at first. So oh, come on. Give me it fair. Give me it fair. Fly ball heading for the alley. Is it going to get down? It's going to get down. That's one run will score. Two runs will score. Robbie's got a double. Woo. Get worried. 3 1 count. I got worried when I got full. Buster Posey will come forward now. He has flied out in single so far. A bit high there. A ball in the Real skirt. Real skirt up in here. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase. Jim Johnson throwing gas. Squared that one up just a little late. Looking at the power of Jim Johnson gas. Is that going to get down? Is that going to get down? Is that going to get down? Ooh. All right. I'll take the lead. Aight. Good start. Good start. Perry will be hit for next inning. Stay with it here so. as he puts the squeeze on it for out number If one. we can get through this inning, we'll be good. Devin Travis will stride forward now. And he's bounced out a couple of times already here. If not, we got the guys with Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. Okay. Got to keep that top that. hand palm up through contact to keep him rolling over. Russell Martin will dig in now. Just struck out okay. and lined out. Get him out of here. Two at bats. Number 26 is on. And he'll take over balls. on the mound. Number 26. Yeah, ball pretty hard on the line out. He just couldn't get it to fall for him. Quick check on that time Isaac. run at first. Runner back standing. He's 
running toward second. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Oh, he ran too far. Got it for the second out. Boom, on DP. Excellent. Sung Wan Oh comes in, throws one pitch, gets the good old fashioned Number nine six. three well, double play and we're gonna get a yank right out of the game now here in inning number seven tj lowerman is up off the benches he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh let's get goose one belted high that's a poke right that might be out get out of here get out of town and i mean it love it it's like my second at bat with my player. Pretty good. All right, let's see if we can actually do what we're trying to do with this Carl Crawford. That's what we wanted to do. And those foul balls into the, to the catcher. Mookie Betts digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Now a first pitch curveball. Well, poke, poke. Well, poke, poke. One out, nobody on. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Here's a fly ball. Is that out well too? I might be out. Come on, back, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! What's going on, Celtics fan? How's it going, sir? Playing Yak City Gaming right now. Buck Nasty. In the chat, what's up? Craig, J Matt, Crash, Silent. But lurking. All right, Rizzo. This is what we're going to do with Rizzo right now. We're going to try to hit him down third base line. That's our goal right here. Hit one down third base line. Get a free double. Unassisted double. Not a pop out of the catcher. Oh, that's good. Gonna try to Protecting go. Two, so we'll we do want to pitch up like there and drive it. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Pitch was there, I just didn't drive it. Same spot. A little bouncer. That's a foul. 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 All right. All right. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, you want that? Would it? Off speed pitch, and this one good runs eye. in and nearly gets him here. How much is the download? Is the download still like 60 bucks or 40 bucks? Oh, wow. I wanted to go oppo with that. Instead, I crushed it. I kept the weight back. I wanted to go oppo. And that's what happened. Troy Tulowitzki comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Up top, it's 2 0. Three runs already home here. 3 and 0 now. There was a joke. It was a snatch. That one's in there. 3 and 1. Set. Here's the 3 1. And the count will be full. He's set. And the payoff pitch. Oh, too low. As this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Third baseman, number five, Corey, Corey Seager is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and over here. Runners on first with one down. Hit down the line at Ooh. Up. He not step on first? He's getting whacked sometimes. He's in there. Gotta watch out for that stuff. Settling in now. AJ He's looking to go Definitely like to step on here. With a base hit right here. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Looking back. Runners Nonsense. are at first and second with one away. Nonsense. Sent on the ground out to play. second. To second for Look one. Quick. On to first, Nonsense. but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Okay. What do you know, Cano? Is that up? Is that going to be gone? Nah, it's going to get over that for his head. I'll take it. One run will score. Pollock is going to try to score. He will. 
the throw to the plate, and he is safe. No follows around the third. On. It's now a seven it. two ball oh, game. Deposey, right if Deposey can get a hit and let my pitcher let my pinch hitter come up again, no, no, no! He threw it away. My pinch hitter's up again. Last at bat, solo home run. This at bat, single up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the runner at third will pull I'll take it. I'll take it. Carl Crawford struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0 for 4 ball game with a base hit right here. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Did Carl Crawford just go yard? I think Carl Crawford just went yard. Get up. Oh, it's off the wall. Carl Crawford went triple. Like a man. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one gets away. That could be a run. And it is a run. <laughs> Forgot about that. And guys, I think you might. Robinson Cano. He's our top player of the game. Damn, Yak City. That really paced his guys to the victory. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And good game, like sir. To please really fell apart there for you, but good game. Good game nonetheless. That was tough. That was a tough game. Final score doesn't look it. Much closer than the box scores, they say. Uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight's stream, though. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to work on. Uh, again, I said... Uh, thank you for watching tonight. Wednesday, twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Uh, we'll be playing Out of the Park Baseball over there, as I am the community manager for Out of the Park Baseball. Thursday night, twitch.tv... Oh, that's at 9 o'clock on Wednesday... Uh, Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash EA Sports. Uh, we'll be doing Thursday night throwdown, so if you want to play some Madden, hit me up over there. We'll be having a lot of fun. Friday, back on twitch.tv slash OTP Developments, uh, we have some big news regarding Franchise Hockey Manager 3. Uh, you definitely want to check that out. Uh, big stuff. I think we're going to do like a half-hour stream, uh, talk to some of the devs and whatnot. So make sure you check that out. Uh, but if you want, need all the links to that, uh, and my schedule is on thatsportsgamer.com slash schedule. Uh, you can see all the shows I do over there. And uh, you can always follow me on Twitter, at thatsportsgamer. Uh, if you liked this stream, hit the follow button. I'd appreciate that very much. Also, you can go to youtube.com slash thatsportsgamer uh, to get links to... Uh, not links, you can see the video archives of this. Uh, if you saw anything you missed, or saw if you... Saw something and you missed. Uh, you know what I'm saying. If you came late, want to see what happened earlier, that's where the archive will be. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for coming out. Appreciate it. Yak City, great game. Sorry it fell apart for you there at the end. Uh, I hope you had fun. I had fun still. Uh, I guess I'll see you again next week. I don't think Millennium will be back. Uh, so next week might just be all games all the time. Uh, so yeah. See you guys then. Take it easy, folks.